topic of this tutorial is guided access. I will discuss what guided access is, the benefits of using it in special education, and how to use guided access. Guided access is a single app mode on your iDevice which enables you to lock it down into a single app. Apple created this as one of its features in iOS 6, so you may have to upgrade your operating system before you can use guided access. Now, I am not being overly dramatic when I tell you that as a self-contained teacher, guided access has saved my sanity. Prior to learning about it, I developed lessons using the iPad. I don't even need to say that, of course, the lesson required the student to stay on and use the app. But before I can completely turn my back or bend my knees to sit next to the student, they had closed the app or pushed the home button. Guided access has put a stop to all of this. Now we will discuss how to use guided access. To get started, touch your settings app. Make sure that you are on general. Next, you will touch accessibility. Scroll down to guided access. Now you will turn your guided access button on. At this point, you will set a passcode. Remember to select a number that you will remember because it is difficult to get access to it once you forgot your passcode. I use my school's code as my passcode. Now, we are almost done. I will show you how guided access looks on one of the type of apps I use in my classroom. We use a lot of interactive books. Of course, as a teacher, I download the free version. But with the free version, there are parts of the screen that will take my student off the app if they touch it. Remember, guided access disables the home button as well. Okay, now I am touching the app to High Tech Dad. For this tutorial, we will use autoplay. However, before we get started, I want to draw your attention to the bottom of the story. This is where the advertisements are for the free apps. And if you click on it, it will take you off the app. Also, at the top of the story, there is a basket for the students to click on and buy more apps. And I'm just saying for the students because that is what happens if I do not use guided access. To use guided access, click the home button three times. Okay, now you put your passcode in. When you see this screen, you will circle the parts of the screen you want to disable. So first let me disable the advertisements. Okay, you can see that the area is gray and I am going to enlarge it to cover the entire bottom. Also, I am going to disable the store. Okay, now you will push resume for the story. 
Okay, so let's read the story. Okay, with guided access on, let me turn this down just a little bit. Okay, with guided access on, you can see that the areas that I was concerned about has been grayed out. So no matter how much I touch it, nothing happens. But I can touch on the story anywhere else on that screen except the gray area and interact with the book. To end guided access, click the home button three times. You will enter your passcode again. And you will push end. Now guided access is finished. So you can change the ch pages. You can also come up here and touch the area that we disabled before. Okay, so I hope that this tutorial was very useful to you for understanding how to use guided access in special education. Also, parents, I would recommend that you use this at home and there will be carryover from home in the classroom and the students will know that they need to attend and stay on task when using their iPads. Thank you.